This model is a microscope's view of the intestinal wall. This is particularly the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. And your food would be traveling over here and out here. This would be the area that a surgeon might touch if they were moving around your intestines. So this is the wall of the small intestine. And it has got three different regions. This region, from this thin band of muscle towards where your food would go, this region is called the mucosa. Underneath the mucosa, between this muscle layer here and this thick muscle layer here, this area is called the submucosa. And these two layers of muscle here, together they make a layer called the muscularis. The two layers of muscle are the muscularis. On the very outside of the intestine, there is epithelial tissue, and this layer is called the serosa. So let's start from the inside closest to the food. These finger-like structures, one, two, three, here would be another one, there would be a fifth one. These finger-like structures, each one is called a villus, and the plural form of villus is villi. So we have one, two, three villi. And the artist has drawn them differently to emphasize different structures inside of a villus. The lining of the small intestine is made out of simple columnar epithelial cells. These blue ones make mucus and they are called goblet cells. Inside of each villus there is a capillary with very well oxygenated blood going in and blood that has lost its oxygen coming out. And all of the carbohydrates and amino acids that are absorbed from your food are going to get absorbed directly into the bloodstream. So this green structure right in the center of every villus, not, not just this one, but every villus, this green structure is called a lacteal. And the lacteal is a lymphatic vessel. It's a lymphatic vessel. Any of the fats from your meal that are being absorbed would be absorbed into the lacteal. From there we go down to this structure which is called the muscularis mucosae and that divides the mucosa from the submucosa. Inside of the mucosa you will find structures like this. This represents a lymphatic nodule and nodules that are made up of lots of B cells and T cells are found in lots of areas in the intestinal tract. Let's look down now at the muscularis. There are two layers of the muscularis. The layer that's closer to your food, we call this the inner layer. The inner layer is circular. So you can see that we have cut across muscle fibers. Those muscle fibers are going around the wall of the intestine. This outer layer, this layer is called the longitudinal layer because these fibers, they are arranged lengthwise. They're going from your stomach towards your anus. This is the longitudinal layer.